All right, so as you can see um, from last week, there's now a shadow that changes. So as you get close to the ground, the shadow grows larger, and it gets smaller when he goes back up. And he doesn't hover up and down when he moves now. Instead, I've added this thruster, which works on the velocity. So if I can just if I just go really slow, you can see it's really small. It's a little bit orange, and then if I go full speed, it'll extend all the way out. And he kind of leans forward a little too. And then I've added a jump animation. So if you jump. He kind of kick flips the hoverboard a little bit, and then if you fall, you know, it goes down. So it looks a little bit more lifelike. Um, it's better than, than what we had before, big time, much better. So, um, and to show you what I changed to do that, first off, we will open up his file in graphic scale. There I am, dot gale. This is our dude. Right, stuff that I'm working on. Here's our original palette. Alright, so these are the hover states that he has. So I've just added this black line on the bottom here, right? And it just it makes it feel a little bit more realistic when he's um when he's sitting still when he's idle. So just to go back and look again at that. So, that's his animation there when he's idle. Alright, we'll probably zoom in. There you go. There we go. Alright, and then when he goes in the air, or we'll just do the thruster. This is the thruster. And this is the thruster at full. And how I handle that in code is on our player.js file. I look at um, the x velocity. Even if it's not equal to zero, we'll get a log in there. If it's not equal to zero, um, then I check to see if it's less than 50 or greater than negative 50. So if it falls into that little area of being less than 50 or greater than 50, I give it this start run animation, right? Um, and so start run is up here, and it's just frame four. And frame four is just this. So and and it, the frames go in an order of array. So this is frame zero, one, two, three, four, frame four, and it's just a little bit of thrust right here, All right? And then back in our code. Else, so else if the velocity is greater than negative 50 or less because negative, I'm going like backwards down the number line, right? If you remember number lines in like algebra one or whatever, um, negative 50, right, is here. So if I'm going less than negative 50, which is faster to the left on the screen, um, so negative 60 or whatever velocity is pretty fast moving to the left. Um, if I fall into that range or the upper bound, which is 50 or higher, and it's going really fast to the right on the screen, um, then I change the animation to run. So here at line 72, we have this run. Um, and that's just frame 5, right? So frame 5 is full thrust. Right? And the shadow just stays the same, but if you notice, I did take the shadow a little bit. When he leans in, if you watch his torso here, like his body will lean in just a little bit. Um, I also move the shadow back a little bit, right? So it kind of gives it this, it's very subtle change. I mean, we're talking like one pixel, you know? But it really, you can feel it when you're playing, and it's very noticeable um, when you move forward. You really, you feel like like this, like you're going, you know? And, and so it's slightly immersive um, to the user, just to have that kind of everything moves forward a little, you know? going faster than light. Um, even though it's not realistic, your shadow would probably stay the same. Um, we really want to give the feel of like whoosh, zipping, right? So that's what we got going on there. Um, next up in the animation is the jumping falling. And uh, to throw back over uh, where am I? If you've been to the Trello board live, um, 
this is my enemy art, and I just make a list of everything that I want to do. So when I got the idea that I was going to work on this art, I drag my card over here, and I'm like, you know what, I want to add, I want to enhance this, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that, so then I can just have this list to work off of. Um, so the next step was his jump. I don't want it to look like he's actually moving up, like he's kind of ollieing a little bit, you know? And then I added in this board flicker because I wanted the image to change. When the image doesn't change, and I'll show you really quick what that's like, it looks very fake. Like, it looks the same. It's like, why even have a jump animation? Because it looks like the normal hop. Like, there's no motion. There's no movement. There's no, like, like you're jumping. You're, like, flailing around, right? So something had to go on um, to give it that kind of a feel. So just start this up. All right. So as I jump, you can see the board spinning, right? So it's like, hey, he's jumping, he's really doing something, right? That takes some action. All right, now, without the flicker, let me just take this off, put it back to six, frame six only. It looks like this. I'll take the fall off too. All right, so, I know how to reload. Whee. Right, that's what I had at first when I put the placeholders in, and I was like, "All right, yeah, something's got to happen and go on," because that's that doesn't look as exciting. It doesn't look fun, you know. He's just staying still here. It's like so. Put these back in, and then we end up with this. Look at that flip! Boom! It's like. I know, like five rotations, uh, something like that. So another thing that I changed was I reduced the jump. Um, if you remember last week, the jump, we had him at 200. So he was kind of jumping like really high. You know what I mean? Like all the way up here, wee, like he's flying around, right? By dropping this down to 150, Right. which changes the, the velocity that he can have when he jumps. I mean, I can't get up there right now, but it's okay, because when I jump over these small stairs, I don't feel like, like a superhuman, like, I feel like a normal dude. And this is just starting out in the game, I, I don't want to feel like I'm overpowered, you know? I mean, like, I want to I wanna feel, like, that's a good size jump right there. You know, it's like the board has a little booster in it or something when it jumps. Um, I can still go through my enemies. I haven't set those up yet. That's everything I've done from last week to this week.